run, don't walk to your local bookstore to pick up these books on running by runners. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Morgan and today I'm talking about two of my favorite things, running and reading. If you've been on this channel for a bit of time, then you probably know that I am a runner and a reader. And if you've been on this channel for a long time, back when it only had a hundred subscribers, you may have heard that I've been meaning to make a video about books by runners about running. Two years later, I'm finally making that video and I couldn't be more excited for it because I consume a lot of running content. I love reading about running. It makes me inspired to be a runner and it gives me something to listen to while I'm running. So I actually listen to a lot of these books as audiobooks and would totally recommend them in that format. First, a special mention goes out to the book Ultra Marathon Man, Confessions of an All Night Runner by Dean Karnazes, because this is the first book on running that I ever read and I was hooked. Like within the first couple pages, I was determined to become an ultra marathon. I wanted to be the ultra marathon man. And at the beginning of this book, some pizza delivery guy asks Dean Karnazes why he is doing this. And then this book is him pondering the answer to that question. And I think a lot of the other books on this list were inspired by this book because they also ask the question, why? Many of them actually reference having read Dean Karnas's book. So in this video, I am going to list some of the books about running that I have enjoyed, a little bit of context for those books, why I think the author of that book runs, and who I think this book is for. Although I enjoyed all of the books on this list, I've decided to let this video flow from my least favorite of the books to my most favorite of the books, so you're definitely going to want to stick around till the end to find out what my absolute favorite books on running are. First up, we have a memoir. It is What I Talk About When I Talk About Running by Haruki Murakami. Murakami is a novelist. I've read a few of his novels like Kafka on the Shore and The Colorless Tsukuru Tozaki and His Years of Pilgrimage, and I really enjoy his fiction writing. I didn't enjoy his nonfiction writing as much, but it was still an absolute pleasure to get to read more about the life of this author that I really enjoy. This is less a coherent memoir and more a series of essays and musings on Murakami's life as a runner. It was written over the course of a year or so in a series of journal entries he did about running, with the exception of an essay from the mid 90s of when he did his one and only ultra marathon. Murakami says that the most important qualities of a writer are focus and endurance. You have to be able to concentrate and you have to be able to do that for long periods of time. And those are definitely skills that I find I build up in myself as a long distance runner. So I think one of the reasons that Murakami runs is because it helps him develop habits that are good for being a writer. But another reason might just be that he likes it because as he says in the book, we tend to do more of the things that we like and no amount of forcing someone to do something that they don't like is going to get them to be great at that thing. So if you like running, run. If you don't like running, do something else for athletics. Personally, I think that this book is definitely best for people who are actually fans of Haruki Murakami himself and want to know more about his life. The next book I want to talk about is A Beautiful Work in Progress by Myrna Valerio. You're going to notice a trend over the course of the rest of this video that a lot of these books are by thin, white, men. And I really wanted to include a book by a woman about running on this list, but there are far fewer than there are by men. And I plan to read many more in my future, but this is the one that I got around to. And I'm really glad that I did because Valerio is an inspiration. She is a black woman from Brooklyn, New York, and she used to run a blog called Fat Girl Running that got so popular and inspirational that she ended up writing this best-selling book, on the topic. Valerio started running seriously after a health scare and she never looked back. I think some of the reasons that she runs are, first of all, to combat discrimination in the space of fitness and exercise and athletics, and to encourage other people that size doesn't matter when it comes to being an athlete. Another reason that she runs, which is also a reason that I run, is because it teaches her more and more things about herself. And finally, she also coaches young girls to become runners. So I think another reason she runs is to empower these young 
women to see their own power and potential and gain confidence in themselves. For me, this book wasn't laid out in a super clear way. The timeline kind of jumps around and listening to it as an audiobook, I found that a little bit confusing at times. That said, there were some unique storytelling elements like when she explained how she went from zero to marathon distance through a series of Facebook status updates. But in general, I would recommend going into this book for the inspiring story rather than the writing quality itself. And I recommend this book to anybody who feels intimidated by running or by athleticism in general, because literally every single person is capable of being an athlete. And Valerio will give you some really solid mantras to help you push past other people's stereotyping about your abilities. Next up is another book I listened to on audio, which was My Year of Running Dangerously, A Dad, A Daughter, and A Ridiculous Plan by Tom Foreman. And Tom Foreman is a CNN correspondent, so he has witnessed some pretty terrifying situations in some pretty scary locations. But the most terrifying thing of all was when his daughter asked him if he would run a marathon with her. I think that Foreman runs because as you get later in life, life becomes about playing it safer and taking fewer risks, and you can actually risk losing yourself along the way. So I think that he runs to encourage himself to take risks and live life dangerously and on the edge rather than just watching as his daughter does those things. So I think running has really helped him dive headfirst into every single day and I am absolutely with Foreman on this. This is the number one reason I think that I run. Running and competing in races has really encouraged me to go outside of my comfort zone, realize my own potential and what I am capable of, and ensuring that I'm continuing to take some safe risks in life. I think that this book is for two types of people. First of all, the type of person that just wants a really funny and entertaining, light, non-fiction book to read. It's really great as an audiobook, so if you're into that kind of thing, highly recommend this one. And secondly, for people that want to know what life would look like if they were training for an ultra marathon, because Foreman is a family man, you know, he is a working man, and he really has to set a lot of things in his life aside if he is going to complete ultra marathons, which he does. So we sort of see how that affects his life and relationships. Next up is the book Endure, Mind, Body, and the Curiously Elastic Limits of Human Performance by Alex Hutchinson. Hutchinson is an author and journalist based in Toronto. He used to compete as a runner and he still runs every day, but he also has a PhD in physics and did his postdoc on quantum computing and nanomechanics. But specifically, this book is on the science of enduring and asking how how our bodies are capable of enduring. In this book, Hutchinson hooked me in by giving me a puzzle to ponder, which was almost nobody ever dies from exhaustion and yet it is technically possible. So why is that? Well, Hutchinson writes, your brain and body are fundamentally intertwined and to understand what defines your limits under any particular set of circumstances, you have to consider them both together. Our body affects our brain and our brain affects our body. And this can be found in really simple things that you can try out for yourself on your runs. Like for instance, when you smile, that gives you feelings of safety and perceived low effort, and it actually makes running easier versus when you do really complex thinking or puzzles before going out on a run, then the perceived effort is going to be harder and it's going to make your run more difficult. So I found this book really exciting as somebody who does enjoy endurance sports because it gave me a little history of how the science of running is conducted and also gave me exercises so that I could conduct my own scientific experiments of my own running. So I definitely recommend this to fellow endurance athletes, but it's also just a really fascinating look at the human brain and body. So anybody that's interested in that kind of nonfiction, this would be great for. Okay guys, we're coming up on the top two. The second last book I wanna talk about today is Can't Hurt Me, Master Your Mind and Defy the Odds by the man, the legend, David Goggins. Goggins is an absolute beast. He is the only member of the US Armed Forces to complete SEAL training, Army Ranger School, and Air Force Tactical Air Controller training. He is a former Guinness World Record holder for completing 4,030 pull-ups in 17 hours, and he's competed in over 70 ultra races. And he does talk about all of that in this book, but he also contextualizes it with his upbringing from an abusive father, an impoverished mother, difficulties in school, experiences with racism, and ultimately 
toxic stress that affected his development into adulthood. So in this book, you not only get this really thorough memoir of this amazing person, but also a series of exercises that Goggins completes so that you too can overcome your barriers to pursuing your own excellence. With this book, Goggins really wants the reader to realize their own potential. I found this book so inspiring and empowering, so I think I'm gonna dedicate one day an entire video to this book and completing the exercises that Goggins recommends. At the end of every chapter, he gives you a challenge and then explains how you can pursue that challenge. And as much as I loved this book, I don't think it is for everyone. It's the only book on this list that is kind of self-helpy, so if you're not into self-help books, you might not enjoy this. But I do recommend it for anybody who is stuck in a rut and really wants to get out of it. This book single-handedly changed my attitude towards weather when I run, so that alone is just an incredible thing to do. And <laughs> lastly, my all-time favorite book about running and probably one of my all-time favorite books ever because it's just that freaking incredible, is Born to Run, A Hidden Tribe, Super Athletes, and the Greatest Race the World Has Ever Seen by Christopher McDougall. This is probably the most popular book on running ever, so I wouldn't be surprised if you've read this one already or you've heard of it, and if you haven't, you gotta pick it up. Basically everything I know and believe about running came out of this book, and the book starts off so simply. McDougall just wants to figure out why his foot hurts so much, and that gets him into the world of barefoot running, and that sends him into some incredible adventures, running through Mexico with the indigenous group, the Tara Umara, and meeting all sorts of incredible people. And he talks about all of it in this book in such a compelling manner. So why does McDougal run? He runs for the same reason we all do, because humans were born for this. I recommend this book to anyone that has an open mind whether or not you're actually interested in pursuing running yourself. Those are all the books I have to recommend to you today, although when I read more I definitely will make a part two to this video, and please feel free to recommend me and others books below if they are by runners about running because it's one of my favorite things to read. Happy running and reading everybody, and I'll see you in another video soon.